The Cinnamon Sin football team took the field Friday night with a chance to secure a share of the WJFL Freedom Division title and set right to work with a 45-yard pass from quarterback Jack Sarnowski to Gavin Prendergast that set up Brian Finnerty's 20-yard touchdown run. Finnerty was seeing his first action since opening night because of a leg injury. Oh, it was the first carry. Wow, it was just adrenaline. I don't know what it was, but it felt really good. Uh, so I, I actually hit the quarterback at first, and the D end ran around, and that hole was wide open and just ran through it. And that's really it. It's running the end zone. After the Hornets responded with a three and out, the Pirates marched to a second score, this time on a 10 yard run by Finnerty. A 70 yard jump by Zarnowski set up another score. So we've been working hard to line, you know, they a lot better than they were last year. They all got in the weight room, so they're the biggest part of the run game. But I trust whoever I'm handing the ball off back there to, you know, I know they're going to get the job done no matter who it is, especially the freshman. Big game from him today. Freshman Dom Del Grippo, number 32, ran for 68 yards and a pair of touchdowns as the Pirates rolled up 335 yards on the ground. Pemberton's lone touchdown came on a 54 yard pass from sophomore quarterback Dominic Domesco to EJ Smalls and made it 28 6 late in the second quarter. But a pair of red zone interceptions in the third quarter smashed any hope of a Hornets comeback. We did, we did have a young guy take over the helm uh, this week. Um, but I mean, he stepped up in a big way. Just, you know, we just kind of left a little a few things out there offensively and, you know, defensively. You know, they had some, some big horses up front. And, you know, it was kind of tough to slow them down. So, you know, hats off to them. You know, sentiments in there, they're a good ball club. And, you know, they're, they're, they're young and their future's bright, you know. And, and our boys, we're, we're continuing to grow and, you know, we're just going to keep plugging along. The Pirates beat Pemberton 35-6. Cinnaminson will take a 6-2 and two record into the playoffs. We'll see. I mean, it's great to be back. I mean, we, we came off a 2-8 and eight year last year. Uh, the kids are 6-2. and two, You know, get a piece of the league championship, which is nice. And uh, whoever we match up, we're going to give it our best shot to advance. From Cinnaminson High School, this is John Lewis.